And then with a mobile app, right, you're on your phone. So it just kind of makes sense that we would want to make the thank you process really easy on a phone. So with every aspect of this mobile app, we've worked really hard to make it very easy to reach out to your donors in the way that they want. And so with this, we've got actually some really cool, um, like a really cool kind of system set up for you to thank donors. And I kind of hinted at it earlier, but I didn't want to uh, give any spoilers. <laughs> but basically with the activity feed, right, you're seeing all these donations come in. And what you can do is you can go ahead, see, for example, in this case, Blossom gave a huge gift, $500. This is amazing. You can go ahead and tap that kind of row and then see, okay, this is all the transaction information. It was giving Tuesday. We need to, and from that, make the decision. We need to call them right now. From here, you can actually go ahead and tap this row. And that will actually go ahead and take you directly to Blossom's profile with all of her information in terms of her donor history, her timeline, her profile, everything you could ever need to kind of refamiliarize yourself with this donor if you need to, or just make sure that you've got kind of the most up-to-date information top of mind. And once you've got that information, you can actually use these nifty little icons up here to do what we like to call um, quick contacting. And so basically what quick contact is, is it's a way for you just to very easily reach out to a donor with the touch of a button. So pretty, I, I hope, you know, pretty self-explanatory, we've got this um, at symbol here, which is for emails. So if you wanna send them an email, you can go ahead and tap that. And we've also got this phone icon. And if you tap that, then that actually gives you the choice of calling a donor or sending a text. Um, a couple cool things to note here. Um, we are gonna mark if they have a preferred channel. So if you put in the database that so-and-so likes to be contacted via text message, we are gonna tell you that when possible. Um, if they have a communication restriction of do not call, we're actually gonna take this call option away from you just because they said don't call them. So we're gonna, we're gonna help you out and not accidentally give you that chance. So then if you go ahead and you tap, for example, in this case, text, um, we'll see if it behaves because this is not a real phone. So sometimes it gets mad at me when I try to make it do things like a real phone does. Oh, case in point, I think it's mad at me. Um, anyways, so what it's supposed to do is it will actually open up a text for you and autofill that number. So that way you can go ahead and then just immediately send that text to that person. This happens if you call them, it'll automatically open the phone app and confirm that you want to call. Or if you want to email them, it'll actually ask you what preferred email you want to use. So if you have Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook, it'll ask you which one of those you want to use and then it will open up that email for you. When you return back to Bloomerang, it's actually going to prompt you to create an interaction because since you use that quick contact functionality, we know that you reached out to someone and we're gonna go ahead and see if you wanna make an interaction. And from here, it's real easy. You can just tap create interaction, fill out information. So, thank you, call, can't spell, that's fine. Select a purpose. And another piece of really cool functionality that you get with your phone, um, I won't, we won't take credit for this, this is a nice little bonus that we got from Apple, is you can actually, in any of the text fields in the app, you can use this little, microphone and actually start talking to add text immediately to the app. So this is really helpful if you want to just simply talk about what you guys um, talked about in a phone call or wanted to record a text very quickly. It's super easy and fairly accurate <laughs> as you guys can see as it keeps catching up with my uh, words here. And then all you have to do is save. And the benefit of that is by using that activity feed and seeing how quickly you can thank donors, they feel very appreciated very quickly. That gets you kind of into that donor workflow that Jess was mentioning, where if you reach out and make a donor feel appreciated with a phone call and have that initial touch point, they're more likely to give additional gifts. They're likely to give more. It just creates an overall better relationship with that donor because at the end of it, they feel appreciated. It's not necessarily just, thank you, it's no, thank you for what you did for us. Here's how you're making an impact. And that really makes donors feel connected to your organization and the work that you're doing. 
which makes them want to give on Giving Tuesday.